Hi Virgo, I hope you're really well. Happy New Year. Hope you had a good one. Hope you had a good Christmas. Right, January 2016 for Virgos. Please remember it is just a general reading. Uh, look out for your rising sign, your moon sign. And if you like a personal reading, that's the only way to get some real answers. Just click up on the link in the corner. Get yourself booked in. There's lots of different prices of readings. Um, and especially if you want a whole 2016 year reading. So anyway, let me move the Ace of Coins out of the way for a moment. And we're starting off with the Seven of Cups. Around the beginning of January, you have probably got a lot of things going on in your mind. A lot on your mind, too many thoughts going round. Um, you've been reflecting on things, you've been thinking about things. And it, there's, there's an awful lot, there's this sort of <laughs> chaos going on in, in a lot of of minds of Virgos this month. You need to focus your thoughts down a little bit. You maybe just need to focus on a couple of things instead of just letting these thoughts run riot around you. Um, try not to build castles in the air, some of you. Um, make sure that any plans that you're going to put into place into in January are valid, are have solid foundations are real, can really be started, can be really be done um, and are not just just castles in the air where you think about them, you imagine them, you really want it to be like that but you don't actually put the action in to do it. There is there's choices, there are choices for some of you at the beginning of the month um, but as I say put the actual solid plans in place or start to do that certainly after the first week of January don't go signing any contracts or anything like that we are going into Mercury retrograde um, so small print read small print be careful of signing anything or anything new if it's already ongoing um, and has been going before the Mercury retrograde then you can get in there and that's okay but anything new no but if you're thinking get some solid foundations beneath you first and you know plan do the planning during January to to start something um, and but think things through now and it could be family stuff it might not be you know it, it's not just business stuff and everything you've got all sorts going on in your mind at the beginning of the month um, and you just really need to try and control your thoughts a little bit um, and move move the thoughts down to maybe just one or two things Ace of Coins is crossing it. This is your challenge card, which is actually a really nice challenge card. If you could stop all the thoughts in your head, if you could try and clear your mind a little bit, you would actually see um, that there's quite a lot of prosperity to be had during January for you. Um, a lot of uh, material things that could come through for you in a good way. Again, the start of things, um, the start of becoming auspicious, putting these, you know, getting these plans going, making all these imaginations and thoughts that you're having, getting them to a point where you can put them into reality. Any successful new ventures are, sorry, they are successful, they will be successful, but you have to control your thoughts to be able to think about them properly and go through them properly. Some of you who are a little bit short of money at the moment, at the beginning of the month, you've, you know, you've spent too much over Christmas and New Year and it's the holidays and you don't get paid till later in the month and things like that. Don't worry too much. I think for quite a few of you, you will, money will come through to you somehow when you need it most is what I'm hearing. So that will, that will help you to get through the month. There's a lot of work well done. You have worked very hard and again it does point to legal documents and that with the ace as well they're coming into your life but if it's already ongoing then then fine go ahead and, and sign as long as you've read them properly but if it's something new just try and hang on throughout January if you can before signing anything just do the the planning stage just in the recent past now this card just keeps popping up in nearly every reading that I've done so far, the Queen of Cups. Um, 
you've been a little bit self-absorbed over the Christmas and, and New Year period. You have been thinking about things a lot and there is there's something in the back of your you keep turning something over and over in your mind um but obviously on top of all that because she's the queen of cups you've you've had great kindness great generosity you've been very intuitive as well over the christmas period or the end of december and probably into the beginning of, of january as well there's some quite intuitive thoughts there and very deep thoughts it could be that you've had a scorpio around you or a water sign Queen of Cups can stand for them sometimes so maybe <clears throat> somebody very prominent in your life has been a Scorpio and they've been around you over the Christmas period um, but you've been you've had a lot of responsibility on your plate recently a lot of responsibility but through all of that and through the worries that are going through your head you're still you've still been able to be compassionate show kindness um, and have a good time for most of you over Christmas and New Year. Just into the future, we've got the Ace of Wands. So again, there is new things coming. There's a lot of excitement for some of you that are waiting for something to come through. There's a lot of personal growth as well when it comes to the Wands. And there is this promise during January for a lot of Virgos of just these new things, new beginnings coming in. The start of, of good things, the start of new things. Peace as well, having that nice peaceful feeling inside and of helping others as well. It's a, it's a very humanitarian card. So it may be a lot of self-service to others in the near future, helping each other out, helping friends, helping neighbours, helping um, family members and being there for them just into the, the future. Now, Wheel of Fortune in your conscious position is saying that the Wheel of Fortune has turned, the Wheel of Fortune has, has, has changed. You, you are very, very well aware of things changing within your world um, on an internal basis, but I think in reality as well, maybe friends and family around you, there's a lot of changes going on with them and a lot of this is karmic a lot of this is is sort of destiny and the path that you're you're going down but that i think for quite a few of you if you haven't experienced it yet you will do there is changes going on and, and some of them are going to be unexpected changes coming up during the month as well but in a good way there is a start of these new chapters beginning for you we are at the school oh, just knock my control we are at the start of new year so there is these new cycles that we can begin and it tells of you've got inner strength there you've got a good outlook on life you've got a nice balanced look outlook on life but you still need to quieten down some of those thoughts in order to move forward and we've got the sun card which is amazing which is such a good card the sun is set is shining down on you it's a big fat yes from the universe as to what it is you want to do, how you want to move forward. It's saying that yes, you are perfectly capable of doing anything you want and there are endless possibilities for you. Just make sure that you're directing your thoughts towards the goals and the outcomes that you actually want. Um, there is new beginnings because quite a thing, the things that are changing in your life, some things are coming to an end in order for new things to come through. For some of you, somebody, maybe a Leo that you've got around you, either male or female, because the sun is the Leo card. So for some of you, this is you and there's so many new things coming around for you. For some of you, you could be getting involved with a Leo um, or some a fire sign at least coming into your life or or you're already, I don't think you're aware of them actually. This is in your subconscious position. So I think this is somebody that could potentially come into your life during January, a Leo. Um, very self-confident, very self-assured. Um, they make great leaders, they great, make great teachers and they can help you with your future goals as well. Some of this, some of you, this is a reunion. 
a reunion of, of you and a Leo possibly or definitely a fire sign getting back together but you don't know this yet they just gonna seems like they're just gonna pop up during the month at some point but the Sun card is definitely there's so much energy and excitement and things to look forward to for you during January but you are aware of the changes that are going on both on an internal basis and on an external basis as well and some of the changes you know some of you are getting really excited about it some of you I can sort of feel trepidation there with it and you're not you're not to worry at all you've got a lot of responsibility here with the Emperor card during January and it's about putting structures together it's about being the master builder it's about putting those good foundations down in order to go forward and you're going to have to <coughs> have self mastery over your thoughts you are going to have to control your thoughts and have conviction this month in what you are doing and you will do you're very protected and you're very safe um, stability will come for those of you who are worried about a bit of stability during January things will get better as the month goes on for you and you will feel more stable I think a lot of us feel a bit weird just after New Year just because there's the the sort of the quiet time now after Christmas and New Year is over so you might it might be a case of for some of you with so many thoughts going through your head at the beginning it might just be, I've got it at the moment a little bit it's like um, just post <laughs> post New Year blues or something like that just a little bit at the beginning but as the month goes on you will get more excited about things and the possibilities that can come through for you you're going to be making a lot of decisions um, which is why you need to focus yourself down so you're able to focus on the decisions that you need to make throughout January quite a lot of awakening for some of you as well and, and aha moments and just sort of and seizing the day as well just getting out there and just doing it and going going forward wear purple <laughs> wear purple if you can um, especially the the females I don't know um, men purple t-shirts something like that uh, purple is going to be very auspicious for you during January it's going to be very lucky and it's going to help you but the Emperor knows where he's going the Emperor knows what he's doing that's why he's the Emperor and you've got to act like the Emperor <clears throat> with that inner strength coming out as well because of the amount of the decisions that you've got to make during January because I think you're gonna have to there, there is somebody around you who is exhausted it's either friends or family maybe a co-worker I don't think this is necessarily you I think it's somebody around you but you're gonna have to you may have to look after them they may have had a short illness or they're going for surgery or they could just be you know they've burnt themselves out because they've been working so hard but somebody around you I feel during January is going to need you and you're going to have to act in a very responsible way and be responsible for them don't think this is anything serious it's you know it could be um, an elderly relative who's, who's got a cold or could even be a friend co-worker who has just really burnt themselves out over Christmas and now they're exhausted um, but you are going to help them support them in some way because they are they need your help that's where some of your responsibility is going to come in and this humanitarian humanitarianism which I can't say which I said at the beginning and um, that's going to come in it's going to involve you to a certain extent supporting or looking after somebody else within your realm your family friends co-workers 
I feel like actually this could be closer family. For a few of you, this could be um, a mum or a dad, something like that, whether they've had, you know, whether they've had surgery and then they've come home and you need to look after them that way while they're healing. There's going to be some sort of situation like that, um, but you're going to have to be very responsible. So you've got, to, you're going to need to focus during the month. And there's a lot of transformation that you're going through and maybe you're worried about transformation. Maybe you're worried about there is a lot of changes and maybe you're slightly worried about things changing during January. Um, what's what's going to happen if it changes? How are things going to change? How are you going to be able to cope? All those sort of questions for some of you seem to be running through your head. But there's no need for you to to worry too much because you've got the exact capabilities that you need in order to move forward and in order <clears throat> to get through it all. Any disappointments or disillusions or sadness or anything else that you, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, go through or feel like you're going through, at the, especially at the beginning of the month, that's going to clear up. I think you are going to be stronger in some cases than you ever thought you could be during January. There is a certain set of circumstances or maybe it's, you know, looking after this other person or supporting this other person, which is going to bring out attributes in you that you didn't realize that you had or you haven't used them for a long time. But it's, it's making you grow, it's making you transform. It's making you transform into a better person. There's a lot of spiritual growth there as well for some of you. It's actually, a, a, the Eight of Cups is a very positive card. Um, and I'm, <clears throat> whatever these circumstances are, it's not particularly negative. There are changes, things are happening. Focus your mind down. You are going to have to support somebody else or look after them for a little while, but it's not um, in a, you know, a really negative way. It's in quite a positive way. You will be get you will be able to get things done during January. You'll be able to get things done with the tenacity, with the force, with the inner strength of the Emperor moving through you with that energy moving through you that he's going to give you that power that you need to sort of push through and do anything and the plans that you are making this month in order to change things in the future whether that you know whether you're moving home or it's a new business or you're thinking of getting married anything like that that will come out very well and that will be successful but january is the planning stage as opposed to the doing stage, if it's something new, you need to get past January 1st. It's a lot of you leaving certain situations behind in the past. It's it's a new year, it's a new outlook on things and for some of you, you're, you're leaving certain things in the past and it's not bothering you either. It's not, it's not like you're, you're leaving something behind and you're getting upset that the fact you've got to leave it behind, you're actually ha quite happy about it, you're fine about it and you're moving forward, you're moving forward with your life and taking the steps that you want to change it. We're finishing it off with the, the Five of Swords, so you do, <laughs> I think by the time January's over, um, you will feel freer than you have done for a while, a lot of you. Again, there's a lot of intuition going on there. Some of you, for some of you are going to feel like you've been through a bit of a battle and you've come out the other side, but you do come out victorious because you've got the swords here. He's got all these swords that he's collected around his waist as he's been through the battle and he's come through it. He's come out the other side, the fire, the every destruction is behind him and he's, he's moved through it and he's moved through and he's going into a calmer 
state. So for some of you, you may feel like that by the end of the month, but in a good way because you've got through things and you've had that emperor energy with you. As I say, for other others of you, there's there's a lot of transformation and a lot of a lot of healing as well. Um, you have faced your limits. You know what your limits are. You've come through. And there's, there's a lot of victory and a lot of achievement. Very, very well deserved pat on the back achievement that's been long awaited in some cases. For some of you, you've been waiting. For some of you, you've been waiting a long time for something to come through or for some sort of success to happen. By the end of January, I'm being told that will have happened. You will have got through and those are part of the changes. You, you'll be receiving something that you've been waiting for a long time. Maybe something that you didn't think was going to ever come through. Um, I and mean, this is a reward for your past efforts. This is a reward for the hard work that you've put in in the past. So whether that hard work was put into a relationship or a job or on yourself as, as in a work, a situation, the rewards will be reaped by the end of the month for that. So a lot, a lot of focus during, you know, you need to do a lot of focus and, and things during January, but you will absolutely come out victorious by the end of it. And you will feel a lot better by the end of the month, some of you, because I think there is some healing for some of you to be done from the very beginning of the month. But remember, you've got the Ace of Coins and that's your challenge card to be able to see the possibilities in January coming around for you. And you can do that as long as you can quiet in your mind. So if you go and do a little bit of meditation or just get some quiet time on your own, you will perfectly get through the month and whatever is faced, you will get through it and come out the other end smiling as well. So, right, that is your messages for January 2016. I hope you like them. Please like, share and subscribe and I will speak to you soon, Virgo. Bye.